sure I remember from somewhere that roadrunners are simply too fast for coyotes. And where did I hear that? The Albuquerque Zoo? No way. Maybe the Hoboken Wildlife Center. Where did Martin tell me about that? Wherever I heard it, I'm pretty sure it's true. <laughs> Sounds kind of familiar, but I don't think I told you that. Coyotes can catch roadrunners, so watch your tail. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. Deactivate! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Chris. I'm used to covering for you. Right now, though, I've got an unsuspecting mystery lizard heading my way. Hey, where are you going? I didn't even strike yet. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, I knew that roadrunners ate reptiles, but roadrunners eat rattlesnakes? Give me that. Okay, this is easy. I'll try an awesome rattlesnake rattle and strike move to scare this hungry roadrunner away. How about this? So, you're not gonna listen to a warning. Then, strike! Oh. Wow, you roadrunners are quick on your feet. What? And I definitely didn't know that roadrunners can hunt in teams. What? Ah! Or whip! Snakes back! And forth! To subdue them! Deactivate! Uh, okay. Ah, uh, now that hurts a little. And you said you were covering for me? Well, it would be a little easier to find that mystery lizard if I had Roadrunner powers. My turn. Here you go. Activate Roadrunner powers! Hey, guys! You feel like catching a mystery lizard? Well, you better start running, because I plan to catch him first. Okay, guys, your second half hour is up. What? Aviva, you programmed them a new creature power? Sorry, Koki. They said they would be fast. Oh, I am fast! A roadrunner can run 42 kilometers per hour, and that's faster than any lizard out here. There, a lizard. Hey, wait a second. You're not the mystery lizard. You're kind of round and chubby. Your legs are short, and I doubt you're much of a runner. And with all those beads and really cool black and peach pattern, I'd recognize you anywhere. You're a Gila monster, a venomous lizard who eats small birds and mammals. Ow. This should be a good spot to find the Martin. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope we got here in time. Yeah, they should be coming out right about now. Mm. No sign of them yet. So now we wait. <gasps> Look, they're coming out. Ho oh, ho! Polyps! They're everywhere! Wow! They're beautiful! You mean these colorful things are creatures? They look like flowers! Oh yeah, they're animals, all right! Every one of them is a creature. And check it out. The hard, rocky part is their skeleton. See, they built a skeleton outside their bodies, and they can hide inside it, protect it. Until they're ready to come out. You mean this whole reef is made of the skeletons of these little guys? That's right. Polyp skeleton built on polyp skeleton built on more polyp skeletons for millions of years. And now millions of creatures live here, in and amongst the coral. More different types of sea creatures than any other ocean habitat. Yeah, but we know these reefs are fragile habitats, and if we're going to do our annual reef checkup to make sure it's healthy, we better get to it. Okay, let's get in there for a close look, guys. On it! Ah. Uh, well, uh, ooh, ooh, ah. Close enough? Ooh. Oh, bro! You just got harpooned! What? Harpooned? You have to zoom in with a microscope to see it. But the polyp shot that tiny needle-like harpoon from his tentacle. That's how they hunt for food. Hey, what are you harpooning me for? I'm not food. Ah, uh, here comes some stuff that's probably tastier than you. Ultra zoom? On. That's what they love to eat. 
amphipods. And see, there are the harpoons ready for launch. Ooh, he did it. He scored some lunch. He reels it in with his harpoon, and the tentacles push the little meal to his mouth right down there in the center. <laughs> wow, I like these little guys. And all this time, I thought coral was just a bunch of rocks. Hey, what are you doing? Leave that coral alone. Those fish are destroying the reef. So that's why the coral reefs are disappearing. Those reef-eating fish. Oh, not so fast. They're parrotfish, Aviva, and they're not why the reefs are in trouble. Check it out. He's scraping algae off the coral with his hard beak and eating it. And he does kill and even eat some polyps while he's at it. But he's also keeping the algae from taking over and choking out the reef. Hmm. So you see, it's all balanced. Parrotfish are part of a healthy reef. Okay, that's good. Because coral reefs have enough problems with pollution and stuff without any new dangers popping up. That's right. After all, a lot of creatures depend on these guys. Without them, the reef wouldn't even exist. Run, Avalanche, run! Look out! Whoa! Nice one! Woo. The snow diving technique! That bought us an extra stride or two! Yes, the whole thing is almost there! Go, 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 go! I'm making something even better for you, a lynx disc. I've made lots of cats so I can whip that one off in no time, much faster than the hair. I'm almost done, super close. You sure? Promise. Okay, I'm heading back out. I hope Martin and Avalanche were able to avoid that lynx. She's still right outside. Martin, see if you can get some lynx fur while you have the chance. You guys will need it when the lynx suit is done. Link suit? Cool. <sighs> the last Hispid. Wait, no, stop! He's not from here! <laughs> I got the fur, but she's gonna get the hair. Well, I got the disc. It's done. Coming at ya! There first. Oh man, he got the warm suit. <gasps> Aviva, quick! We just need something, anything, to make me look like a snowshoe hare. Yes, I think I found something. Hey, Lynx, over here! Should really stick to snowshoe hairs, not endangered hispids. Ah! Whoa! Yeah! Nice one, dude! But what are you? You never really got the better suit for this adventure! Gotcha! But don't worry, buddy. I'm a friendly lynx. Chris, I got him! We're good! Yo! Chris? Brother! Snow diving technique. Let's get out of here. All right, headbanger. Let's drill into those holes and have a look. Ah. Two toes forward, two toes back. Clamped on. Tail feathers anchored. Sharp hammer beak ready. And. Oh, no, 
Aviva. Not at all. Aviva? I mean, Jimmy. Uh, try again. Oh, my brain's still rattling. Who are all of you? You okay, Chris? It's me, Martin. Oh, this suit's gotta be missing something. A brain just can't take all that drilling. <laughs> Aviva, check out this woodpecker body scan. Wow, shock absorbers. That's what keeps the woodpecker from getting headaches and damaging his brain from drilling so hard. See, the spongy bone between the beak and skull and a flexible lower beak absorbs a lot of the incredible drill force, protecting the brain from getting bounced around too much. And those special feathers block the nostrils so wood chips don't fly up the woodpecker's nose. This creature's loaded with special features. Sorry, Chris, I forgot to add a few important things. It's all good. Hey, guys, look. Some bark flaked off where Chris was drilling. Clues! It worked! Hmm, that's not what it's supposed to look like. Hey, what are all those tunnels? It's almost like something was scraping around under the bark and then... <gasps> look, they dug deeper into the tree. Someone's got to go in there and see. Oh, I'll go. No way, I'm going. Okay, brother, how many fingers am I holding up? Brain's still fuzzy. Um, uh, four. It's two, right? Okay, you go. <laughs> huh, miniaturized. Pick a hole, any hole. I'll pick that one. Okay, ready? Yep, ready. I'm going in. Whoa, this is pretty weird. I'm walking inside a tunnel inside a tree. Huh? Oh. oh, hi there. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your lunch. Wait a second, it's you. You're the one making those strange holes in the tree. You're a tree eater, and I caught you in the act. The rattlesnake power discs are ready. Jimmy, catch! Energize and... Jimmy, no! <laughs> we didn't have enough power for teleportation. Sorry, I forgot. We've got 30 minutes, and then an irreversible meltdown begins. The Tortuga will be totally dead. But then, how are we gonna get the miniaturized rattlesnake power disc to the Crap Brothers so they can find the Tellurium? Jimmy, you'll have to deliver them by hand. What? He looks snake bit. Maybe that's what he's worried about. Jimmy, it's your job to teleport the disc, and we can't do that now, so you've got to hand deliver them. Come on, Jimmy, you can do it. Okay, yeah, I can do it. Yay! All right, all right. <sighs> Chris? Martin? Perfect timing, buddy. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome. Catch you later, Jimmy. Okay, get ready. Wait, we don't want to touch this end. Rattlesnakes have big, rough scales. Oh, check out this pattern. See the diamonds? That's why this species is called a diamondback rattlesnake. Okay, now, activate creature power suit. <laughs> rattlesnake powers. Hey, let's get underground and find that tellurium. Wow, we can really get around down here with rattlesnake powers. sprung an ambush on the squirrel and has him cornered. The rattlesnake has a squirrel in his sights. Rattlesnake vision on. With you, bro. 
It seems like the squirrel's growing. That's his tail. The ground squirrel's pumping blood to his tail, making it hotter and hotter, and making the squirrel seem bigger and bigger. Whoa! He fooled him! The rattlesnake struck at the big twitching tail and completely missed the squirrel. That was a rarely seen creature moment.